Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be diving into the world of derma planning. This is a popular skin technique that can help you achieve smooth and radiant skin. In this video, I will explain what derma planning is, show you how it's done, discuss its benefits, and share my own experiences with you. Derma planning is a non-invasive exfoliation method that involves a surgical grade scalpel to gently remove the outer dead layer skin cells and to remove peach fuzz from your face. This process reveals a fresh glowing complexion and can enhance the effectiveness of your skincare routine. Let's explore the benefits of using this technique. Benefit number one, exfoliation. By removing dead skin cells and peach fuzz, dermal planning provides a smoother, more even texture. Benefit number two, enhanced product absorption. With the top layer of dead skin cells gone, your skincare products can penetrate more effectively, maximizing its benefits. Benefit number three, makeup application. Dermal planning provides a flawless canvas for makeup application, allowing products to glide on smoothly and evenly. Benefit number four, brightened complexion. By eliminating the top layer of the dead skin cells, derma planning reveals a brighter, more radiant complexion. Before we get down to step one, in short, derma planning is face shaving. Yes, shaving. And no, shaving does not mean that your hair will grow back thicker or that you will end up having a beard like a man. Absolutely incorrect. Unlike hair on other parts of your body, facial hair is rather fine and soft. So derma planning is a good thing. As the hair grows back up, it will not be hard and prickly and stubbly. So there's nothing to worry about. Back to step number one. Cleanse your face thoroughly to remove any makeup, oils or impurities. Step 2. Gently stretch the skin in a taut position and hold the derma planning tool at a 45 degree angle. Step 3. Using short feather-like strokes, glide the blade across your skin working in small sections. Always move the blade in a downward motion and avoid going over the same area multiple times. Step 4. Be cautious around sensitive areas like the nose and the delicate skin around the eyes. Step 5. After derma planning, rinse your face with cool water and pat dry, preferably with a microfiber cloth. Step 6. Once that is done, moisturize with either aloe vera gel that's very soothing to your skin or a moisturizer. But remember to pat, do not rub. Your skin is still a little sensitive, so take care.
share my experience with you. Initially, I was a little hesitant to try a scalpel on my face, but considering that I do use needles at other times, using the scalpel was not that much of a difference. After some intensive research and consulting with a skincare professional, I decided to give it a go. The process was painless and surprisingly very relaxing. Once I completed the derma planning, my skin felt incredibly smoother. Like if you take a look in the mirror and around your forehead and your nose, you don't really see any hair or anything out of place. But once you do derma planning and all the peach fuzz is removed from those areas, including your nose, you would be amazed as to how much of a difference this makes. So for some final thoughts on derma planning, I would like to say, Although this technique is very impressive, very effective, you need to proceed with caution. Remember that everyone's skin is not on the same level. And this involves a scalpel, which means hygiene and caution and safety is very important. However, if you are microneedling, involving needles, you need to do this at least once a month. Too much of an exfoliation can cause irritation, which can cause inflammation, which causes hyperpigmentation. And on skin of color, that takes forever to remove. So be cautious, take care, research properly, and then see if you're ready. So facial hair needs to be removed at least once a week. What I do is I would thread. Come on, during COVID, it took me two days to learn how to thread on myself. So between my weeks of derma planning and microneedling, I would thread because I don't want to be looking like a peach fuzz ball. So while giving your skin a chance to heal and still remain looking good, threading is an excellent option. Thank you for joining me on this journey to explore the world of derma planning. If you found this video useful and helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so that you receive updates on our new and latest uploads. Please feel free to share your derma planning experiences with us in the comment section below or any other suggestions of videos that you'd like me to make for you. Until next time, stay beautiful. And thanks for watching RJ's Antics. See you soon.